Hi, welcome to my channel Crafty Come Lately. I will first start with, um, it's been so nice and beautiful in Seattle that I really haven't sat down to make a video or create anything really in a long time. Um, and I owe a couple of videos. I said I will um, make a video to show how to do the dry embossing and a couple of techniques without a machine, a big shot machine. Um, I haven't done that yet. And then I wanted to show how to do the ice cream, little cones out of um, paper and hot glue. Haven't done that yet either. So it is on my to-do list and eventually I will get it done, hopefully before September. But in the meantime, I wanted to thank a couple of prize givers. Uh, one is Jane, who is Alter Junkie, and um, she gave um, a prize for just uh, commenters. I mean, I think she gives one uh, entry for commenters and then more if you send stuff in and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate her giving um, a prize to me because I didn't send anything in. And she's always so sweet and always commenting on my channel and supportive from the beginning. And she's just wonderful. So I wanted to give a shout out, especially because I don't have a PayPal. So I just asked her if I could do um, a alternate, like a printable shop. That way, uh, like a gift card for that printable shop. And she was very sweet and generous. And we worked out um, to use um, Luisa's shop, the KSP by Luisa, who uh, is Luisa Diaz. She has amazing um, printable shop, beautiful, beautiful collections. It took me actually a long time to even choose the one I really wanted. But um, Jane totally was very sweet to accommodate that. I didn't print them all up, but I do have a few here. This one is um, the collection, what I chose to, uh, Un Belle Vie, A Beautiful Life. And it actually has the highlights here um, of what it looks like. But I printed some of them. And then I didn't print all of them yet. And then the second collection is called Trinkets and Treasures. Since um, this is a summary of the Un, Ville, uh, Un Belle Vie. I won't really show that flip through, but I wanted to show a couple of things from the trinket, like this one, from the uh, the trinket and treasures. They ha she has a lot of ephemera, things that she actually copied um, or photographed herself from her own uh, from her own personal stash. Um, she just makes beautiful layers, beautiful printables. So I'm really excited to make something of this. And, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful layers. Like, this is flowers she actually took pictures of. Just amazing. So, I can't wait. This is really gorgeous. So, thank you so much, Jane. And thank you so much, Louisa. Um, and that was one prize that I got. And I'm very appreciative. And then the second one was a surprise one from a Creative Young Mama, who's Marissa. And she found these really cute um, planner binders there are three ring binders at target and she shared whichever one i guess the winner uh wanted so i definitely chose the gold yay and she sent me um the inserts which was really generous um to send because these are super heavy so shipping was extra uh filler paper and pockets these are really pretty and they have the um, separating pages as well. Really cute in several colors. There's pink and green. I didn't even open it. I wish I had, um, but I definitely wanted to uh, make a shout out and tell her that I really appreciate it and I did receive it. And these are the weekly ones and there's monthly ones. So really super cool. Thank you so, so much. And then um, I haven't really found much in my shopping hauls, but I will share. I rarely go to Walmart because honestly for me I haven't found too many bargains and this trip validated it as well I went up and down six or seven different aisles for back to school the only thing I found less than a dollar even noteworthy or bargainy or anything was the composition books um, and they were 50 cents so I picked up three I didn't go too too crazy but I picked up a red in there too um, you can obviously get them at the dollar store for a dollar that would have been just fine for me um, I would have saved a trip. But, um, and then Tuesday morning, I've been missing all the beautiful stuff that I see, like the cork stickers, the, um, like the gold gl glitter stickers, the ephemera pack with the vellum and acetate, I would have loved. But the, I did go on the right Tuesday, was it two weeks ago? I didn't see any of that, so. And then I didn't go since. And I may not get to go again, who knows. Um, but, I did pick up um, this one and it was orange sticker, so I don't remember if that was additional 20 or 40 or who knows, but um, it's um, nice, pig I think it's pigment ink and it's Christmas colors. So it has the green, the red, 
and the gold and the silver is why I picked it up and white I don't have white uh, ink pad yet and of course I have black but um, it's nice and juicy I just tried it this is the white when I actually ink everything correctly this is the silver and that's pretty good too this is the red this is the gold really cute I didn't do it properly but it, it's all there it's nice and juicy and this one is the green so really nice so less than $3.99 whatever it was the only thing is the caps do come off really super easy like you know if I shake it a little bit probably the cap will come off so just beware and then that's the only other Tuesday morning thing I picked up the seven gypsies um, air, uh, arrows for clocks so if I make a, a clock layout I will put that on there and also for pages on mini books to hold the page down a little flap so I thought this would be really cool and that is it then dollar store could have gone crazy but I was trying to be chill because um, yeah back to school had all the fun stuff but honestly I do have enough composition books now a lot of papers um, I'm pretty good for now so but I saw these alphabet beads these are pretty cute um, I love the tiles that people have with the words but they're a little expensive for me so I thought maybe especially for a short word like cool or hot or something like that I can make it with these letters so or maybe even put them like on a short necklace and then put it on the cover or on a tag um, these are mini writing tablets they had them in a few colors but I chose the lightest pastel color of pink because I figure you can always dye it darker if need be or just leave it as pink which is cute and then I'm definitely going to make a um, some kind of junk journal with words in it so I love this one it's first words flashcards they had some that had even more flashcards I think these are only like 20 flashcards or I don't know oh, 36 cards there were some that had more but I really like that it's words and now I even see their stickers inside pretty adorable but yeah I love that they have like airplane apple ball like you know ABC but you know something could match what I'm working on like if it had airplane it might have to do with travel house could do with family so I could match it pencil to do with school like I could match it to a themed junk journal that I'm working on at the time it's all futuristic um, and then Marissa had um, ma'am 106 I think that's her YouTube name I will put the YouTube names for um, alter junkie Jane Marissa creative young mama and this Marissa ma'am 106 I might be missing part of her name but she had a great um, explanation on how to do these laminating sheets and it worked so I got two yay I'm excited and she's using hers for planner dividers I think but I thought it would be cool to do for pictures and maybe stick a magnet and put it on the refrigerator and then I'm good for calendars but I thought this would be really cool especially because it comes out I can put printables in here when um, I'm done with this calendar and I can also put other things in there to do lists um, whatever else I needed to and just put it somewhere on the wall so that's dollar store I mean honestly great stuff back to school time and then I've hit a couple of book sales library sales friends of libraries we call it here in in my little area and this was actually unmarked everything was a dollar or 50 cents of the books that I got but this they didn't have a price and she said what would you want to pay and I said a dollar she took it um, but it has um, all Spanish words which will go into my language junk journal which is in my future to-do list uh, one was including Rosa so of course that would be with um, something with roses on that page but you know there's other words in there that I'll be happy to use so um, I'm excited about that and then this one is a French book that I picked up 50 cents this one is both the English on one side and whichever Asian language this is it could be Korean I looked at a few tables so it might be Korean might be Chinese and this is super cute and I think this was a dollar and there's three books in here doll hardcover basically like chipboard each page and they're cute as is like look at these cute little strawberries but I plan to actually my idea is to make them into mini albums just cover them with the pages that I want and it's done like all I have to do or pocket you know if I want to do pockets or anything fancy or fold outs but basically if I just cover it with paper I have a mini album so 
I thought that would be really cool. So there's technically three books in here for a dollar, plus the little cover that it goes into. So love that. Um, I got this book more for the cover because it has that vintage cover. And usually the library, they try to separate um, the area. Um, they try to put their vintage books into another area and charge you a good price for it, and they should. Um, but this one happens to be Hebrew. And so I will definitely make it a junk journal. And then I got a couple of these um, just for their old paper. And actually, uh, I read it a little bit too because I've never read these um, books, but I used to watch Little House on the Prairie, so it's pretty cute. And same with uh, Nancy Drew. Um, I like uh, when Debbie makes the, um, she keeps the original covers, so I may even do this one and something and maintain the original cover on this one. So um, I think that was it that I had to share with you all. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you all guys soon. Um, don't pray for us to have bad weather because I'm really enjoying the, um, the weather and the sun here in Seattle. But I will hopefully see you guys when things get a little cooler and I stay indoors more. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. And uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.